And joining me now on this special COVID-19 coverage and the outbreak that has taken place, Dr. Lee Meng Yan. She is an independent virologist and is joining me now from New York. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Dr. Yan, my first question is, what is the reason uh, that uh, you have been able to figure out with regard to the China outbreak? Because people would like to believe that, uh, you know, most adult population across the world uh, here in these regions also are vaccinated. So what is the reason that you are picking up of this massive explosion of an outbreak again this time in COVID in China? Thank you for having me. And first, I want to say that I'm still working on that. And based on my research that the things happened in China, it's very suspicious. And what I can tell you is it's not because of the weak immunity during the zero COVID policy. Yeah. And it's not because of the low coverage of vaccination, because both of them uh, are not true. I mean, first, the zero COVID is basically just the digital control and the political control. Mm -hmm. And also, Chinese people had uh, average two to three doses with uh, 80 to 90 percent of the coverage of vaccination. So the thing is, the new outbreaks come out at the same time when Xi Jinping faced both domestic and international pressure. And the severe uh, symptoms shows different from the common Omicron symptom in other countries. And the death rate is increasing, uh, death toll is increasing. And also I can tell you for sure that a lot of in common happened in China, like what happened in Wuhan in early 2020. It means government cover it up and also they suppress the treatment and suppress mm. the uh, sequencing of the virus, which means you really don't know what is circulating in China in different areas. And you really need to uh, concern about what would happen to the world once this come out of China. Um, you know, you are actually correct because there's such filtered information that is coming in from China. It is difficult to actually be able to analyze what's happening. But what you're saying is also concerning because we're also discussing if this is a new mutant uh, virus. Is this about BF.7? Uh, is there a variant that uh, you are looking at this time? What is this BF.7 that many are referring to? Is this a mutant variant or is this something else? The thing is, when we talk about BFL7, mm. this was the very end that China CDC claimed to have in China one month ago. And okay. after that, and remember, one month ago, there was no outbreak in China. And however, since the outbreak came out from uh, middle December, there was no more sequencing and the government suppressed it so the hospital cannot provide it to the patients. We really don't know whether now what we see in China uh, due to this variant, which mm. I'm very suspicious because mm. it was shown mild in other countries. Mm. And we really need to also worry about a lot of possibilities. First, uh, for the such a large population in China during outbreaks, new variant <coughs> can generate. And also Chinese people had different vaccines, those mm. made in China inactive vaccines. They can generate more variant when people have this kind of poor protection mm -hmm. and facing the uh, virus infection. Do Doctor, also, what do you mean about vaccines that are different? Because in, China, in India also people oh. have got vaccinated. How is that different from how Chinese people have been vaccinated? Different types. In mm. India, you get mRNA and also yes. Johnson Johnson, right? Yes. So Johnson Johnson uh, is adenovirus. And the uh, base vector. But in China, the most majority of Chinese people get two doses of uh, inactive vaccine, mm. which is a, a, a traditional technology. However, it was proven even back to such one period doesn't work. So mm. it's not only bad, but also can provide a lot of side effects like antibody enhance, uh, dependent enhancement. Mm. So this is what we concern. Mm. And also in China, one more thing you have to always remind mm. that why government want their people suffering from that? Yes. You have to think about Xi Jinping has used the COVID to gain a lot of trophy. And also mm. before, right before the new outbreak, mm. he is facing mm. both like white paper revolution mm. and also the pressure from U.S. and other countries like India, and now U.S. government 
House Intelligence uh, Committee has announced that they have shown the report COVID-19 is related to bioweapon research in China, and they want to hold the Chinese Communist Party and Xi Jinping accountable mm. after the new year. So all happened, <clears throat> this is really very suspicious about the origin of the new outbreak. Do Dr. Yan, are you saying that because of political reasons, China is not really uh, clear clearing out about what is happening in China and that it is because of that even people are suffering because we're looking at few uh, videos of crowded hospitals. Uh, are you looking at, uh, apart from the politics of it, uh, if I may ask here, is there an age group? that do you see is affected this time in China or it just borders from teenage to, to senior citizen age group? For this kind of disease, respiratory infectious disease, always the elderly is vulnerable because mm. they have underlying disease. So in this case, we do see a lot of elderly uh, population died, passed away, but we also see people in other age group, mm. even the baby uh, died. So the mm. thing is, China government even don't give you the number. They claim anyone had underlying disease, then the death cause would be that disease rather than COVID-19. Mm. And the hospital is overloaded. The drug is not given to people, also government hold it. So that would also increase the death mm. toll. This is not only about the virus, this is a man-made disaster. You're saying this is a man-made disaster. Would you want to explain on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, man-made here most is because what we already know, government uh, suppress the supply of drugs like the common painkiller and reduce fever like Panadol or the uh, mm. Tenor or Paracetamol, all these drugs. And they pile it in the uh, stocks, but they don't give uh, patients. And also, previously, the government just hold people at home during zero COVID period. Mm. That's just brutally digital control and brutally locked down quarantine. However, after the revolution, suddenly the government lets the outbreak come out and also they still push people, even mm. they are sick, to go back to work. So all these things show the government is mm. very irresponsible. Another thing we have to concern is this COVID-19 virus was coming out from People's Liberation Army's lab. That mm. is man-made from the beginning. Mm. And we will see more details in the future, but now we really need to concern. They commit it in the lab. They also have scientists which was reported mm. uh, studies the variants in the military lab. And we have to think about how could suddenly all over China, people immediately get symptoms and also severe, even the people who stay at home isolate mm. from the uh, population. Mm. Strong, strong words there, doctor. And also now for the, for the viewers who are watching here in India, uh, because we've been vaccinated and many are now catching up on the booster doses, doses as well, uh, we would have liked to believe that the COVID pandemic is behind us. Uh, what would you want to tell to the viewers in India about that? Are they safe because they are primarily vaccinated? Uh, is there any symptom that uh, they need to be careful of? Are the symptoms same like it was in 2020? Are the symptoms different this time? Oh, yeah. At first, I hope Indian people can enjoy the new year. And I really don't want to see the pandemic coming out to India again. Uh, but I want to remind people that you are facing Chinese communist government. This is a government that they don't care about their own citizens' lives. Mm. So for their purpose, they, I mean, they don't care about mm. your lives too. And how could you prevent the new outbreaks coming to you? We still don't know what exactly variants stay in China now mm. or new variants. And we don't know whether, I mean, based on previous experience, the mRNA vaccines or Johnson Johnson vaccines don't have very good efficient to uh, pr protect the okay. variant. Yeah, so based on this, you should be vigilant. Your mm. government should prepare once this kind of new outbreak comes. Mm. However, I also would encourage people to get more knowledge about the drugs because I know in India, the drug treatment also work well during the Delta period. So have enough drug supply and prepare okay. for your medical 
uh, facility, this is yes. very important. Thank you so much, Dr. Lee ming -Yon, for the latest. And it is because of your research that we can depend at least on some solution and conclusion on that. Uh, thank you for speaking to India today. But like you're mentioning and making some strong words also, that the world needs to take note of what's happening in China. Something definitely appears to be suspicious, as many researchers are pointing out. Thank you so much, Doctor, for now. Thank you.